So one of the things I wanted to highlight is that sometimes you leave your property with people to take care of, and then uh, you're not around, and then you get back, you see a complete mess. That is not the case with me. I'm uh, very happy to see that my boys here take a lot of time to make sure that everything is clean. Look at what we planted here. So one of the things that <laughs> I did, so I'll tell you a story. You see these trees, these are Florida orange trees. That one, this one, that one, that one, and that one. They are actual Florida orange trees. Uh, I was driving through an orange grove in Florida and this guy was actually mowing uh, the lawn from uh, from the growth like he was cleaning up uh, pruning the trees etc etc and then I stopped by waved at him and say hi and then there were some orange fruits that had fallen from the tree and I signaled to him I wanted to take some and he basically signaled by and said yeah go ahead and take some and I grabbed some of those orange fruits they were already almost rotten actually but I remember I was already uh, going to be flying to Liberia in like I think a day or two so I took those fruits. I don't know how many were they were, but maybe one or two, maybe one. Took them, uh, kept them in the fridge until I was coming. It was probably a day or two. And I flew with that stuff to Liberia and planted them. So what I have growing here is Florida orange trees. I don't know how they are going to uh, respond to this terrain, but Florida is wetter and Liberia is wetter. They have some similarities. They are both humid places. Uh, here, Liberia is tropical. Florida has uh, a lot of humidity too around the year, uh, constantly. Here in Liberia, we have two seasons, but I'm, ass I'm assuming they will do well, and they are doing well so far. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me show you around the yard. Uh, that's the generator house. That's a room for the security to stay in. Uh, they have a little kitchen with the door open and the bedroom is that way and the generator is in there when we use it we don't use it now but yeah this is the yard and there's some brushing around really cleaning i have this one uh, young man here who actually does a lot of work so he stays on duty during the day and he just takes care of the yard uh, and at night there are more than uh, one person at night who's guarding the yard but this is what they are doing man it's clean really nice nice job uh, i do love to plant things i'll tell you another story uh, this thing uh most liberians know them uh this this particular plant it's called kojurobo it's a black uh, uh, sorry not black bitter it's very bitter but it's good for malaria and things like that so if you grew up in liberia uh if you had anything like malaria or anything like that your parents will give you this thing they uh pick the leaves boil it and then you drink that bitter water it's really bitter we used to uh compete when we were kids uh well our mom used to trick us into thinking that the person who drinks a cup full uh is the strongest man or the bravest person or so uh, so we drink it up just because we want to prove something but yeah that was a way of getting us uh to take bitter medicine so I have it planted. But let me show you what I'm showing here. I, I keep talking, but these things are pomegranate trees. So similarly with the orange, the Florida orange, I actually was uh, coming to Liberia this time around. I actually went into the store and bought the pomegranate fruit. And I said, did I take this thing maybe and try this? I read about it, they said they grow from seeds too. So I just uh, took some and say, I'll go and try it in Liberia. And now they've been growing for like maybe three years, at least three, four years, but they are doing well. Uh, I know that it takes a long time to actually bear fruits or grow to the size where they're supposed to bear fruit. So I think more or less they are okay from what I read, but there they are growing pomegranate trees. Uh, I have some coconut trees. That's the building here. You see, uh, this is just, uh, this is not in Exeter, by the way. Uh, this is in Johnsonville, uh, Monrovia. And this is where we have this, uh, well, some people say this is the Exidy HQ. Well, it is 
outside of Exodus. So I don't know who should call it HQ, but I know someone who loves to call it HQ. And I'm not going to leave him here. He's probably going to watch this video and laugh. Uh, so, but this could be thought of as an Exodus satellite office. That's how I like to think about it in my mind. But, okay, anyways. And now I have a one bedroom apartment right over that garage where I stay. The rest of it is office building. There are suites in there. We'll, we're doing some work here. But uh, so the glass up there, the latest thing we did in my absence uh, was to do the glass windows and the glass door up from there. And even at the rooftop. We'll do a tour of that later. But yeah, that's what's happening. So uh, yeah, that's what's happening here. So I stay right in that tiny little uh, austere looking ugly looking one bedroom apartment and i love it in there uh, yeah it's a huge garage so that door is also part of the garage so all underneath here is a huge garage so there's a door this like my front porch of the apartment and that window is like the kitchen as the bedroom there and yeah i stay in there man when i'm here but the rest of it is like the office suite and stuff like that but yeah i don't mind it's unpainted, ugly looking, but hey, it works for me. Uh.